Good morning, Thrifties. So today I decided to go to a sale about 20 minutes from my house. Let's see what we can find. Good morning. So I hope you guys like my new name for y'all. Lots of uh, YouTubers have a name for their subscribers and I'm going to call you guys Thrifties. <laughs> so I hope you guys like that. You got a pile started? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. at me when you're ready if he's not back out yet. Okay. okay. Do you have any jewelry? I don't. Okay. Well, heck, fire. I might as well just leave right now. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Okay. Haven't I seen you before in Friendswood? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you looked yeah, familiar. I thought I recognized you. How's the, how's the channel going? Oh, going good, going good. Is that your little girl? Yes, it is. She is adorable. Thank you. You say thank you, Ava? Thank <laughs> you. You're welcome. Yeah, my mommy's in school right now, so. Okay. She to come with daddy on the. <laughs> on the treasure hunt? On the treasure hunts. Almost didn't drive all the way out here, but I'm glad I did. I know, halfway here I was thinking, oh gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> Definitely hear some roosters. I was talking with an acquaintance. I've seen him before in Friendswood, and I'm pretty sure he's a reseller. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe his name is Ashton. So hey Ashton, if you happen to be watching. Yeah, I couldn't resist picking up these super cute little Charlotte Russe um, Oxfords. They have a real pretty little floral print on them, so I'll definitely be putting those up on eBay. Now here in a minute, you'll notice me picking up some vintage looking Nikes. They've got a really cool colorway to them. And I was going to buy them. However, I noticed that Ashton had a pile going and he had some Nikes over there and he did not pick up these. So I thought, well, they must not be very collectible. I don't really know a lot about sneakers. I know I always end up passing up probably a lot of money, but it's just not my specialty. So I just kind of went, um, went with the fact that he didn't pick them up and he obviously does pick them up. So hopefully they're not worth like $100. <laughs> So um, let me know if you guys think I made a mistake by not getting those. Is she pretty good on pricing? What's that? Is she pretty good on pricing? Yeah. Oh. They're trying to get rid of stuff. Okay, good. Now this, uh, this pot here was really neat. It was real heavy, so I thought maybe there was a chance it could be a uh, LaCroix or La Croix, uh, La Croissette. La I don't know how you say that. I always forget, but yeah, it wasn't marked, but really pretty. I like the yellow and white there. This was a neat little, um, I guess it used to once hold alcohol, probably liquor, but yeah, I passed on that. I have so much stuff to take to my antique booth right now, you guys. Uh, three, five, eight, you know me, I gotta uh, check out those $2 dolls. You like it, I love it. Be some help carrying it out there? I'm your man. 
Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm here for you. I, I can do a couple tricks. Yeah, All so right. Just, uh, Which, where are we going with this? Well, one, no. That little blue car. Right little blue vehicle? Yeah. All right. I got something. We'll, we'll, we'll get it. Take your time. We've got another time. All right. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. I'm laughing because those roosters won't shut up. <laughs> they were just cock-a-doodle-doing the whole time I was there. I loved it. It was just the cutest thing. I would love to have some roosters and some chickens. I think that would be so neat. I'd even love to have some little ducks too. All right, man, be careful out there. I love the sound of those roosters. I know it probably drives you crazy. You know it doesn't. I just love it. I've lived in the country all my life and it's just background noise. Yeah. Someone used to have a little donkey. Oh, really? And I used to love <laughs> to hear him bray. Oh. So if I ever get to live in the country again, I'm going to have a donkey. Right. I didn't know that's what it was called, bray. That's what they call it. Yeah, we think, think that hee-haw sound. Yeah. Yeah. My husband just hung up that Woodstock shirt. He said, somebody's going to want that. Oh yeah, that's cute. How much are your little, um, what do you call them, doilies or? The big ones are two dollars okay. and the little ones are, you know, depending on how little. They're pretty. Did you make them? No. Oh. I'm a collector. Oh, okay. I have way too many things. Right. Oh, me it's too. our house and we're moving, so. Where are you moving? I am moving to Marshall. Okay, here in Texas? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's up, uh, it's about, I don't know. 30 miles off the Louisiana line in Northeast Texas. Okay. What is this for? That's a light. It's a, a desk lamp. Really? It's an odd lamp, and the bulb went out. 
And my husband went looking for a bulb and found a cheapy lamp at Walmart that you can lay a cell phone on and charge it. Oh, yeah. So he kicked it to the curb. Oh, no. I've never heard of an odd lamp. It's a... Uh, you buy them in craft stores and sewing stores. Oh. They're real bright light. Okay. Okay. Oh wow, Foley's. I remember Foley's. Is this just a box for the hat? Uh, it's just a box. It doesn't have a lid. How much do you want for the hat? Five dollars. It's really neat. What kind? Is it me? I think it's probably me. Because it's got those little hairs that stick out. Yeah. Oh, is that a signature sign of the mink? Like this, these little bitty hairs? Well, like this hanging up here is mink. Oh, okay. You see the little hairs what do you want for that? Uh, ten. Oh, wow. Um, I'll definitely take the hat. It's in kind of bad shape. The stitching that holds the pieces together is kind of coming apart. Poor little critters. I know. <laughs> My daughter acted in a lot of different plays. Uh -huh. And so I did a lot of costuming for her. Oh, okay. Yeah, you've got a lot of pretty fabric. I do. I have to let um, some of my friends know. Oh, please do, because I'm selling it for a buck a piece. No matter how oh, really? Is. Gosh, yeah. I might have to get some just to get some. <laughs> it's um, cute. It's just got to go. I can't take it with me. I, I pulled out what I wanted. Oh, it's precious. Now. Um, is there some place I could start a pile? There is. You bring it right over here, and I've got a couple little things you can set your things in here and, and keep it off the floor. Oh, aren't and those this cute one? Shoes? Yeah, either one. Okay. Either one. Our little bowl's going to find a home. Good. And give you your hangers back. Okay, did he price anything out there for you? He didn't. Okay, the right. hanging things are $2 each. If you don't think that's fair, make me an offer. Will you take a dollar each? I'll take a dollar each, yeah. Okay. The shoes, are they worth a dollar? Sure. And then the little uh, bowl, how about a dollar on it, too? Okay, and then a dollar for the... And then I'm gonna get the hat. And so that is five, so that's Oops. 10. I'll just take the hat. Um, and then I wanna look at the fabric. Okay. I just love the fabric, but I never know what to do with it. I never took the time. I had people offering my grandma, my great grandma, and I just never, never, learned to never got into it. But I sure wish I would have. Pretty, pretty. I'm just attracted to the vintage looking ones. Oh, I know. I love them too. And I kept a lot. I, I had a bin for each color. Really? You were organized, and I huh? I told myself when the bins were full, that was it. And I did pretty good. Although I think I need to buy one more small bin because I didn't, I didn't set aside a bin for holiday things. Oh, yeah. Holiday prints. And I have holiday prints rolled away in my bedroom, so. Have y'all been busy this morning? We have. We got hit real early by a lot of collectors and sellers and, oh, yeah, and that's that. cool because I do all that myself. Right? Cute. Yeah, I do too. I have an antique booth and... Really? Where at? Uh, Alvin Antique Center. That, that big one out there? Uh-huh. How does that do? You know, I've been there for about five years. It does okay. I have fun with it, you know. I have good months and I have bad months, but um, overall, I like it. So it gives me a place to sell some things um, that I don't want to make a little money. It's a hobby. Yeah. So I've thought about doing something like that, but. 
Yeah. Only in the past few years have I really had the time again. I had the time, and then I opened a business, and then. What so kind of business did you have? I, I had Nanny's Way Bakery here in Santa Fe. Oh, okay. Yeah. My grandparents used to live um, out here in Santa Fe. But my grandfather passed away a couple years ago, and um, so my grandma didn't want to stay out here by herself. So she's uh, up in Friendswood now, close to family. But they loved it out here. More land well, and... you know, there's more land, but I'm not from this place originally. Yeah. I never wanted to stay here. I've been here probably 35 years now and I'm ready to go. <laughs> no, I've been here 36 and a half years. Oh gosh, that's My a long time. I 36 and I was pregnant when we moved down here. Wow. So I'm ready to go home. Yeah. My oldest daughter moved home last year. My son's going to be down here for another 10 years. Yeah. His little girl's six. He's a police officer over at Texas City. He says he can't leave while she's here. Oh, yeah. Children have a hold on you like that, for sure. And I don't get that. Yeah. This is interesting. Okay, I think I'm ready. Little Chihuahua, how cute. Okay. So, we, what did we have? Put a tan down here. Okay. And then, let's see. 11. Let's set up here. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, 15? I bought these daisy prints thinking I could use them in a vintage quilt, but I didn't hold up. Yeah. I like things that are going to wash well, you know. Oh, yeah. And I, I buy my fabrics from everywhere. If I see a shirt that I like, I'll buy that and chop it up. All the fabrics in here. I'm not gonna put your little hat in here. Okay. I'm gonna leave it down there with the t-shirt. Well, yeah, it's fine. You can carry that box out if you like. Okay. Do you need it back? No, you have it. Okay. Got way too many, way too many boxes. Uh -huh. It's been a while since I've seen a blue Walmart bag. <laughs> you know, I had a lot of stuff packed up in bins, and some stuff was in had Thank been you. put in bags and. And put in bins. Right. Probably some of it was new in the bag and just got packed up, you know. Okay. I'm not a hoarder, but I have hoarding things. Oh, I'm borderline a hoarder well, myself I mean, my right now. Is, <laughs> even even when I had all my fabrics in one room, they were stacked in neat, you know. Right. All right, well, thank, thank you, you. ma'am. Your shirt's Hello. cute. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I am sitting here waiting for my daughter to get out of school, so I thought I'd show you some of the things that I picked up. I went and got my nails done. I know it's um, October, fall, but I decided to go with this pretty mauve pink color. Okay, I digress, but I did spy this cute little vintage Pyrex little bowl here. It's quite dirty, but I am going to clean that up, and I'm going to put that on eBay. So um, it's always fun to find something really dirty like this and clean it up real pretty and make a profit off of it. I think she only charged me like a buck um, and then I did pay five dollars for this hat here I do believe it's mink and it's from a company called Foley's that used to be here in Houston I'm not sure if they were everywhere else they probably were in other states but uh, definitely remember Foley's we don't have them anymore they went out of business but really neat vintage hat oh and I forgot all about this so here is like a little vintage Peanuts t-shirt with Woodstock here on the front. I like the little colorway, kind of like this deep uh, burgundy color with the yellow on it. And these shoes, I thought these were just too cute. Oh, they're not Charlotte Russe. What was I thinking? I was looking at that box, but yeah, they are shoe dazzles. So these are definitely not vintage, but how cute are those? I just love them. So I'm gonna get these up on eBay. Let me see what size they are. Uh, I think that says 10. 10 yes, and gosh, they're in good condition. 
So, and let me get that fabric and show y'all. Okay, I'm definitely gonna be selling all this fabric on eBay. Let me pull back a little so I can see it better. Um, this one, I just love this pattern here. The couple's dancing and it says, skip to Malou. How cute is that? Swing your partner. do si -do. What else? Promenade. So how cute is this fabric? I'm not sure how to measure it, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna be putting these up on eBay. And look at this one. Does this one scream 60s or what? I love that pattern. It's almost like, well, it is. It's like towel material. So um, really pretty. Love that. And here's another groovy one from the 60s. This bright orange print with these little white flowers. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like little pink, tiny polka dots in the background. Um, this, this fabric here I thought was really interesting that it might be vintage, vintage kind of like African heritage. I thought somebody might enjoy having that. Um, now I did pick up this purple and black top. I thought somebody would really like to wear this for Halloween coming up, but purple and black is just a really good colorway together anyway. It is by Linda Caputo and it is a size, I think it says XX, but probably meant to be like XXL or maybe that means 2X. That probably means 2X. So yeah, put that up on eBay. That'd look cute with like some little black leggings. There's a couple more things of fabric in here. Look at the teddy bears. How cute is that? I love this. This is a good substantial amount of fabric here. But this is adorable. I love these little bears. And then the other one. This is like a cowgirl. And they've all got names. We got, let me zoom in. We got Emmy Lou, Jenny, Mel, Jesse, Kay, Ruby. Rosa. Now, if you guys recognize this pattern, please let me know. Uh, let's see. Wait, it says right here what it is. It is called the, let's not zoom in, the Buggerettes, the Alexander Henry Fabrics Collection. So yeah, all of this is going to be going up on eBay. So if you guys are interested, go check me out over there. I am thrifty dash dash treasures on eBay. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a like and share it with your friends. And we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.